Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen welcome, welcome to, to Breakfast. Breakfast. Please, this is going to be a race, a race of skill, skill race of attrition, attrition. or will it be just a demolition derby? Get ready and be prepared, and be prepared for, for carnage. carnage. Let's, Let's get ready to rumble. rumble. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Breakfast. It's been a couple of weeks been having some technical difficulties with my wheel it's not actually the wheel it's just the game having issues uh, recognizing it so I decided I'm going to use my controller instead because uh, I did uh, disconnect my controller to see if that would help and it didn't I mean I've run through everything that I could think of to try to help it reconnect I mean like 80% of it actually worked it's just that it had trouble with the centering part it was just I don't know going crazy so until I can get that ironed out I'll be playing with the controller and I've been practicing and I did try it third person like you play like a GTA 5 and for this game for some reason I just can't play it like that I have to play it first person like I do American Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator was meant to be played <clears throat> first player not third I mean first person not third person because it is a simulator like uh, like um uh, Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I mean, you don't you you don't fly the planes in that third person. You fly them first person. And in this game, like I said, I tried doing it third person, and I just feel too disconnected from it. So, playing first person again, still playing first person, but now with the controller instead. Still just a little bit disconcerting, but uh, so I was practicing with it to get used to it. So, and uh, so we're at Crash Canyon. This is the first uh, event, and I'm using the Rammer. I'm using this car because this is the best one uh, that takes jumps, really, uh, for this type of event this kind of car so without further ado let's go down trackside and start our engines also i made it an a, uh, automatic it's uh, trying to fiddle around with the uh, paddles while uh you know trying to shift manually Also started 17 out of 17 cars. Oh, turn. I have traction control on for well, half. Because with this thing, yeah, really need traction traction control on. Unlike a horse feedback wheel where you can actually feel what's happening. Oh my goodness, they're killing each other up here. Well, now I'm up to 11. Oh. One thing. Don't you... Whoa, 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 right over the top of them. I think we're going to have to see that on the replay. 
I know some people who uh, play this game, they just use controllers and all. And, you know, that's, that's fine and all, you know. I just missed my wheel. Like I had so much better control of that. I always seem to drift towards the walls or something. That was uncalled for. Although. with the transmission on automatic. So much easier to get all the way back to reverse. I tried tried using automatic with the wheel and it just you know always changing gears at the wrong time, you know, before I like turn you beast. Hope that wasn't mine. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm up to eight. With the hood going up that high, I can still see what's happening in front of me. And we are now at the halfway point. You know what that means. It's an official race. Apparently those passes weren't for position. I'm wondering are these the first place cars? Am I going a lap down? That's the question. <laughs> no, don't try to oh, woo -hoo. oh it's not quite out like I see everybody else doing around me. I think the AI cars are crazy enough. Humans are just the worst. They're even crazier. AI is our friends. <laughs> uh, let's give a few examples of um, the Terminator. Uh, the androids from Alien, those other androids from Alien Isolation, um, I'm up to fifth now, almost done, I'm up to fifth, <laughs> and sixth place is DNF, so. Turn, you beast. What did I say? Right wheel compressed or something? Oh. Last lap. Light flags out. Okay, so it wasn't a lot down. There's the first place car. Oh, it's close to being a lap down. I gotta break so hard. 
getting into these turns. Otherwise, it just goes sliding right into the wall. There we go. <sighs> Let's go up to the booth and watch the replay. And I found out that if you don't hit the accelerator just right when you're starting, if you're just a little bit late on it, uh, it'll take you a little bit before your car starts going. So, I mean, you got to hit the accelerator right at the right time. I was always finding out while practicing. But that was a cool drone shot. Like shots like this right here. I'd never seen the replays on this track. I mean, I played played this track many times just by myself not recording or anything like that but uh, huh. you're all over the place man all over the ouch that was a slap in the face I hit him all right. Gotta get away from that wall, man. Well, I didn't do so bad. On those first couple of practice rounds that I did, I get off of me, and uh, I did pretty bad. Yeah, you little snot worker. But uh, yeah, I did pretty bad. Although it is more of a workout for my hands. With the brakes accelerator. It'd be even a worse out, uh, workout for my hands if I had to shift gears too. And I did try that for a little while and it was like, nah, too much. So, had to go with the uh, automatic transmission. On this, doesn't seem to do too bad, but when I had using my wheel in an tr automatic transmission, forget it. Couldn't do it. I had, I had to use a uh, manual transmission because I knew when to shift gears better than the AI did. <clears throat> I 
I could still see under my uh, hood when it opened up all the way. Get out of the way! And he pushes right. Wipe down. Karma. smashing into that thing back there. That's not good for the transmission or for the suspension. That's it. <clears throat> all right. Look at all the DNFs. With just five cars finishing. All right. Let's see what we get for that. Okay. Experience points. That for credits. All right. Well, we'll be back for the uh, next event. And we're back. Uh, it's going to be an all dirt day today. We're at the Mudford Motor Park, and I'm using the Mud Digger. Might as well. And uh, we're. Uh, it's only a ten car event. All off-road and uh, we're doing 20 laps and I'm starting 9 out of 10 so let's go trackside and start our engines so you gotta get that accelerator just right Pit successful. Kid, stop going so wide. Now I'm up to, well, fourth now. I was going to say sixth, but now I'm up to fourth, fifth, now sixth, fourth. What? Will you stop going so wide? As if the game wasn't challenging enough with my wheel. Now it's even more challenging with the controller. But can I get a podium finish? Oh, come on, turn. I'm doing this steering with a thumb that doesn't really feel. Oh, somebody went flipping. Dude, get off of me. There you go. There you go. Karma. Today's events were sponsored by the word Karma. Yeah, 
Ooh, no! Well, thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Back to seventh. Try to get the turn so I don't have to use the brakes that much. Wow, you're just all over the place, ain't you? Come on. I mean, they call it a mud pit, but is it really mud that much? It's not like a mud bogging event or anything like that. Probably just a very thin layer of mud. Just to get us all nice and nasty looking by the time at the end of the race. Yeah. Now that we're all spread out around. Excuse you! Excuse you. Uh huh. Trying to get back up to, you know, where I was. I'm stuck in seventh and eighth. Fighting with this guy for eighth. Get back to him. There we go. Get back to him without flipping. Rough them up a bit. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. That's probably first place right there because I'm still in eighth. Flip it! I did notice when we passed the halfway point <laughs> I was a little busy to pay attention to that Final lap. Yeah, just a lap, just a lap down. Don't get in the way of me now. I'm still racing here. I'm still, I'm still racing here. <sighs> Oops. All right. Let's go up to the booth and see the replay. They're beating and banging right away. Oh, pit maneuver successful. So easy to go wide on this thing.
last time I used this truck, it doesn't technically have a flame paint job. It just kind of looks like it. That's why I use it. My son made the comment to me while we were observing the replay that, uh, you know, something about using a flame paint job on my car because, you know, I was badly burned all those years ago. Whoa, you are fine. And I told him, you know, honestly, I never thought about that. I just like fire. That's not how I got burned. I like the trophy truck. <sighs> I like the trophy trucks, you know. I just don't like how they sound. I wish, like in American Truck Simulator, you could change the engine to change the sound of the engine. Because so many people made so many engine mods, and you really gotta shop around to, uh, find one that you like that performs the best has a decent Jake brake sound a good engine sound one that doesn't shift gears crazy if you're using an automatic transmission because a lot of them do that At this point, I was pretty much stuck in fourth. Couldn't <clears throat> couldn't catch up to third. <clears throat> Came pretty close. I like that shot with the uh, the uh, drone flying overhead. get off of me. There went fourth place up there. Duking it out with them. Then at some point I get shuffled back to seventh and then eighth and then I'm stuck there. That's the first place lapping me. Well, can't win them all. Still gotta give it your best shot. And my hands are screaming at me right now. Still, I did better than I thought I would using a controller.
Okay. I... Oh, that was right at the end. Okay. So, 20 laps and this thing, ow. This thing went all the way to the end. Wow. 20 laps. I'm impressed. All right. Two hundred and forty credits for coming in eighth. Got a ten. Okay, well that's gonna do it for this rate for this event. For this video. And uh, I'm gonna catch you trackside.